Hi there, this is Bush Radio 89.5 FM. I'm Nigel Fomas and I'm connected to jazz. And that means you're connected to jazz and also to music that may not be jazz but is in some way connected to jazz. Yes, welcome to Connected to Jazz. I do hope you enjoyed last week's show in which I shared some of my experiences at the South African Association for Jazz Education's conference in March at the South African College of Music at UCT and at the Baxter. It was organized by Diane Rossi. I was there for most of it and in fact took part. And tonight I bring you part two under my voice, the Dave Brubeck composition, It's a Raggy Waltz, originally heard on the Time Further Out album, played here by his sons, plus Dave O'Higgins on sax. Jazz. Roberto Sacchini, an Italian musician and philosopher who has studied in the U.S. and in Russia, was also concerned with time in his paper on contamination. Maybe because something more absolute lies in the quest for beauty. The relationship with time, the developments of musical speech reveal a hidden relationship between time and tonal structure, uh, Igor Stravinsky, structures of uh, poetics of music. There is no need to mention the history of languages or philosophy to state that the common vocabulary of jazz musician is enough to, to confirm that this relationship is one of the fundamental ones on which an improviser's experience, not just the musical one, realize. Stay on time, bring the time, have the beat, face the beat, timing, having a good time. Stay behind, stay in front, bring behind, bring forward, floating, etc. So far, however, this is about the relationship with metronomic time, no less important or easier to explain. The most noble and difficult aim for a real improviser is to compose in real time. In this respect, the relationship being created is that with absolute time, the history time. To sum up, for me, improvisation was the word becoming able to be the thing it describes. <laughs> Bye. 
That was Oterb. Zucchini plays guitar and oud. In the common language of improvisers and music scholars all over the world, there is a key word, swing. What is swing? Trying to find the answer, even if you know you'll miss the target, is not a task reserved for, for jazz scholars. Swing is one of the perfect allegories of Western literature and thought. Swing is to music what a human existence is called the salt of life of popular tradition. In short, swing, an, al an almost indefinable term, just like mo most slang used by jazz musicians, the same word for jazz does not mean anything in particular, is a term de derived from the interaction between the African vocal music and the Anglo-Saxon written tradition, creating kind of spark from opposing approaches. Historically, New Orleans has been a musical metaphor of the USA, a vast laboratory where all the language and cultures of the world would meet. It is not too much of an exaggeration to say that in that corner of the art, people and languages generated by the Tower of Babel came together to attempt an, an unprecedented experiment the creation of a metalinguistic language. Swing, in the musical context, is an allegory for the United States. Talking of the United States connected to jazz education, I'm Nigel Famas, I'm with you until 10 o'clock. My name is Guilherme Ribeiro. And you are Brazilian? I'm Brazilian musician. And I play piano and accordion, the Brazilian accordion. Uh, like uh, the piano accordion. Yes, well, of course, we've just heard you play the piano and the piano accordion very beautifully with uh, some of the delegates here, the two students playing, uh, one playing bass, one playing drums. Yes. Mike Rossi, of course, playing Mike sax. Rossi. And uh, Roberto Zucchini playing the guitar. Roberto Zucchini playing the guitar, yeah. which he did, he, he did beautifully, yes? And you, yes. It was a great group. It, I mean, and obviously you hadn't had much time together to, to, to rehearse, but, you yes. know, it didn't matter. <laughs> yes. Because the feeling was there, you know, it was beautiful. That is just so... Uh, we did it uh, a lot, like uh, to get people together, put people together and try to, to make some music. And also, I think that's very much what this conference is about, because I think that, uh, you know, um, it's that whole influence of the cultures, of, of hearing about the, the, the man from Estonia telling us about the communist regime, uh, the woman from Italy telling us about how, in the fascist regime, how sort of swing survived the, the fascist uh, regime in Italy, you know. Um, in Brazil, do you have those were political challenges of the past? In the past, we had uh, um, how can I say, dita, uh, military, military uh, government, you know, and of course it uh, it was not a, a good era for the Brazilian people. Nowadays, we are a democracy. So uh, the, the problems we have, it's the normal economic problems that every, every place with a democracy has, have, you know. What would you say is different about Brazil, apart from its language, of course, from its neighbors? Okay, uh, Brazil is a, a huge country, almost a continental country. And we are Portuguese speakers, uh, different from Chile, Argentina, Peru, Ecuador. All those countries are Spanish speakers. And um, I think because of that, because of language, we, we don't know uh, much about uh, the, the music in our borders. You know, we, uh, for example, me, I, I'm completely influenced by the tango the, that comes from Argentina but I'm not uh, uh, very known about the Chile music you know.
Guilherme and friends. Guilherme Ribeiro, Roberto Zucchini, Mike Rossi, Benjamin Jefter and Marlon Vitboy performing at the SAJE conference on Monday the 26th of March. Composer, guitarist and teacher Nick Carter has a novel.